Rhode Island has a state bird, Rhode Island red, a state shell, the quahog, a state flower, the violet, and a state tree, the maple. All right, but believe it or not, we have no state bug. However, if some third graders get their way, that will all change. RJ Heim reports. Third grade classmates at St. Michael's Country Day School in Newport have oh, had sure bugs on their brains here. going on six months now. Not that many people know about them. Uh, we didn't know a whole lot about them. So last fall, the students here were studying the history of the state of Rhode Island. And it was at that point that they found out that there's no bug for the ocean state. Right? It's crazy. They started doing some research in the hopes of making it official. 17 states already have the honeybees, so we don't want to copy them. The mosquito is kind of obvious. Then they heard about the efforts to repopulate a bug mostly found only in Rhode Island. It was nearly a unanimous decision to pick the endangered American burying beetle that eats mosquitoes and feeds off roadkill and lays its eggs on the carcasses too. It's a little gross that they eat it, but the first thing that the babies want to do is eat. It has a small population, just like Rhode Island is a, the small state. It's a recycler. It's mainly populated on Block Island. A perfect fit, except for the gross part. So they crafted a bill with afternoon, local reps afternoon. and are presenting before, it to a committee at the state house to make it here. official. Okay. If it gets out of committee and voted on, then it goes to the governor and history will be made. I always feel very accomplished in my life. Politicians are tough. Okay. <laughs> Third graders making their mark, burrowing into state politics to make the American burying beetle something more than just a bug whose host is, well, dead animals. R.J. Heim, NBC 10 News.